May I now request Honorable Mr. Justice N. V. Ramanna, the Chief Justice of India, to kindly deliver the inaugural address. Honorable C. K. Chandrasekaragaru, Chief Minister of Telangana, Brother Justice L. Nageshwara, Sister Justice Hema Kohli, Honorable Judges of the AP High Court, Honorable Chief Justice Sri Satish Chandra Sarma, Chief Justice of Telangana High Court, Brother Justice Prashant Kumar Mistra, Chief Justice of Andhra Pradesh High Court, the Honorable Ministers Muhammad Ali, Honorable Minister Indra Karan Reddy, Honorable Minister Sri K. T. Ramara, Brother and Sister Judges of Telangana High Court, Chief Secretary of Telangana Sri Somesh Kumar, Director General Sri Mahendra Reddy, Advocate General B. S. Prasad, Senior Advocates, Advocates in the field of arbitration and mediation, Representatives of Industry, Resource Person, Sri Satish Mukherjee, Pro-Time CEO, Sri Nakul Diwan, Coordinator, Media Persons, Learned Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Good morning to all of you. Namaskar. I am extremely delighted today again inaugurating this International Arbitration and Mediation Center at Hyderabad and the Honorable Chief Minister is handing over the papers to me today. It's a great event. My heart is filled with joy and happiness. Because uh, the, within a short span, in fact, Last meeting, last month, last week, one week back when we organized a meeting of curtain riser, I have told several things. That uh, on 12th June when I came to Hyderabad after my elevation as a Chief Justice, when I mentioned this center, about this center, the Chief Minister immediately responded and we entered on 20th August, uh, trust deeds was registered. Then on 20th, uh, 27th it is registered and 20th the MOU is uh, entered. Within a short span of this, I think less than four months time, we have seen it through own eyes. A wonderful infrastructure and a center has come up here. And it is the state of art center and it is according to the persons who has gone across the world to see the International Arbitration Center, it is better than the Singapore International Arbitration Center. I am very proud of this uh, infrastructure creating by the state. Now I want to tell certain things about the small, how this ADR movement has started in India, I have last time also mentioned. But I thought this time it is appropriate to quote the view of the Honorable, the then Prime Minister C. P. V. Narasimha Garu at that time while inaugurating the International Center for Alternative Dispute Resolution in Delhi in 26 years back on 6th October 1995, he, quote, he said it, Any democracy what the man must provide for adequate and effective means of dispute resolution at a reasonable cost. Otherwise, the rule of law becomes a platitude and people may take law into their own hands. Disrespecting peace order, peace order and good government. Effective dispute resolution is also necessary to secure the smooth functioning of trade and commerce." Unquote. These words were spoken around at the time the Arbitration Conciliation Act 1996 was drafted and debated. With the economic liberalization, a need was felt to provide a viable alternative for the parties, both national and international, to resolve their commercial disputes in India. The Arbitration Conciliation Act of 1996 was enacted to hope to provide that alternative. However, this is not to suggest that uh, ADR mechanisms like arbitration and mediations are a new phenomena. The then Law Secretary Dr. Rao, who drafted this legislation, has said it. The concept of parties to a dispute, settling the dispute in a binding manner by reference to a person or persons of their choice or private tribunals was well known to ancient and medieval India." Unquote. So arbitration and mediation has a long history in India. Recently they have acquired prominence across the world as methods of dispute resolution. I don't want to in detail tell what are the benefits you are going to about creating this infrastructure. This is low cost, speed, control or timelines and process, autonomy of parties, more comfortable environment and non-adversarial nature. 
these are the benefits which I already indicated last time. The setting of the International Arbitration Mediation Centre at Hyderabad, an important step towards enhancing the ADR landscape in the country. While arbitration centres have already set up, been set up somewhere in India, particularly Delhi and Mumbai, domestic and international parties still appear and prefer before the foreign mediation centre, that is Singapore or London. I am sure this trend will change with this Hyderabad centre. Domestic and international parties will increasingly coming to the centre which has the world-class facilities. Its location in Hyderabad has also been an attraction. This is my city, so I might be accused of being a little partial towards it. But honestly, I think it is one of the best cities in the country. It is a growing hub of commerce and is one of the top destinations of the business in India. I am feeling proud that I could contribute something which will enhance the glory of the city of Hyderabad. Apart from that, Hyderabad has its own merits. I am not showing any favour or anything. It deserves all the best in the world. Hyderabad is strategically situated in the southern part of the country. It is a bridge between north and south with seamless integration of people of different cultures, languages, religions and regions. Most importantly, the people of this city are incomparable. They are welcoming, warm, filled with good cheer. I cannot think a better place than this of or this Hyderabad. With a lot of hope and expectation, the centre is being established. Collectively, we did our best. A world-class infrastructure and outstanding professionals are available to you at this centre. If it is for you to take it forward and turn it into most sought after destination of resolutions of all types of disputes, including family and commercial disputes. I am of the firm belief that when you take up a mission with good intentions and good heart, it is bound to be successful. Now, we have a very good people manning this center. I am confident that the Hyderabad International Arbitration and Mediation Center will emerge as one of the top destinations in arbitration and mediations. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who extended their support for this center. Generous thanks to the Honorable Chief Minister of Telangana, Sri K. Chandrasekhar Rao, who has extended his full support from the very start. His act of facilitating the center by way of allotting land, office space, logistics and financial support has ensured that the center became operational in the short possible time. I, the Chief Minister, this Chief Minister has the reputation of giving his best when he takes up such challenges. I am glad that together we have inaugurated the center today. I want to tell one more thing. Before the center started, two days back when a heavy dispute between two families, that is Modi families has come up before our bench. Sister Jessima Koli was one of the members of the bench. So we suggested that for a mediation, they readily agreed and there we set a condition that we have to use the facilities of Hyderabad Mediation and Arbitration Center. So the, you already got a first case. So similarly, uh, the Brother Justice Nagesh Rao has already informed me that some more foreign arbitrations are ready, which are in the pipeline, which once it is started, we are going to get it. Before starting the center itself, we are getting business. It's a good sign. <coughs> I sincerely thank Sri Ravindranji, he is the perfect person to keep this institute forward. His knowledge along with humili humility make him a role model for lawyers and judges everywhere. With Brother Justice Nagesh Rao dedicating his time and energy for this center, it is bound to flourish. Similarly, I thank Justice Seema Kohli who supported this initiative wholeheartedly as the Chief Justice of High Court of Telangana. She provided immense support for the setting of this institution. She continues to give her invaluable inputs and actively contributed her thoughts and ideas for the betterment of this center. I thank Honorable Chief Justice of Telangana High Court, Sri Satish Chandra Sarma, has been providing his active support, his enthusiasm, highly energizing. Within a very short span, he has endowed himself to be all the stakeholders in the judiciary. Best, I wish him a glorious tenure as the Chief Justice. I thank him for extending all his support. Similarly, I thank the Honorable Minister for IT, Sri K. Tarakarama Rao, Law Minister Sri Indrakaran Reddy, and the Home Minister, Mr. Mahmud Ali, as well as the Chief Secretary of the State and IT Secretary, Jayesh Ranjan, Law Secretary, as well as the Registrar, Mr. Nagarjan, and other High Court staff who supported the 
this institution and made a wonderful hard work for all these days to come up and to inaugurate this thing. The Chief Justice of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh High Courts are here along with the brother and sister judges. I request all you to consider this center in Hyderabad for any arbitration or mediation needs for the litigants instead of sending them to some other locations that is far away. This would ensure cost effective and efficient resolution of the dispute of local litigants. I am sure the center will lead the way for arbitration and mediation in the country and will become a primary center for not only in India but across Asia and the world. With these words, I dedicate this International Arbitration and Mediation Center at Hyderabad to each and everyone who worked hard to make this dream come to true. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of the International Arbitration and Mediation Center Trust, I would like to convey my deepest gratitude to Honorable Mr. Justice N. V. Ramanna, the Chief Justice of India, and Honorable Shri K. Chandrasekhar Rao, the Chief Minister of Telangana, to grace this occasion with their august presence and for taking out time from their extremely busy schedule. I would also like to thank Honorable Mr. Justice L. Nageshwar Rao, Judge Supreme Court of India, Honorable Ms. Justice Hima Kohli, Judge Supreme